YouTube, today we're going to be making game on Roblox. Alright, so, um, number one, you're going to edit the base plate for how, how much, uh, height you want it to be. So, I'm going to, uh, make it about, alright, now, like that. Now, if you want to drag the base plate or anything, just click base plate, scroll down, and click, and click locked, and then it will be unlocked. Alright, so now, after you've got that done, well, you could keep the base plate, but I'm just going to delete it, and I'm going to start from scratch. Alright, so, alright, there it is. So, I'm about to turn, nah, I'm going to keep the grid on. Alright, no. this is the awesome part time to make uh, the background right so this is just gonna be um, I don't know <laughs> so yeah <laughs> I don't know what this is gonna be this game uh, let's just make it at least that big no Let's make it 400, 1, 100. Right. So, that's good. Now, we're going to make it anchored and so we're going to scroll down to the surface. Right. Top surface, change that to smooth note outlines if you want it smooth. Now, Let's, I'm gonna change, I'm gonna make this grass, so I'm going to put the grass. Alright, so after you got that done, this is my, um, ground, I guess. Alright, so, I think I should lock it in case, you know what, no, I'm not gonna lock it. Now, <clears throat> The next thing you want to do is add spawn points. I am going to make one at this corner. So go to model and click spawn. There. Now you have a spawn point. I'm going to make one in all four sides. So is this on one stud? Alright, it's on one stud. There. Now. We're going to make it on all four sides. All you have to do to, uh, not like if you want to duplicate it just do control D alright now we have two and we're going to bring this one over here because we're gonna do one on all four sides alright after you got that done um of what your game's gonna be like. I think mine's gonna be like a sword fighting game. I don't know. I don't care. <clears throat> Alright, I'm finished. Now, I'm going to, just in case none of this is anchored. Alright. No, everything's anchored. Alright. <sighs> Let's think of what we're going to put. You tell me what we're going to put. Good idea. We're going to put uh, invisible walls around this. Alright, here it is. Let's see, scale. And we're gonna bring it all the way over there. Ah, oh, crap. Me, I said all the way over here. Yes. Alright. You good? It's good. Alright. Bring it all the way up so nobody could jump over. Yeah. <laughs> I know. It's like. It's, it's so ugly right there. So, what we're going to do is anchor it. Transparency, do one. Now, it's invisible. Wait, no, I need to see it. 
so I could uh, duplicate it. Actually, no, you don't have to see it to duplicate it, but it's easier because you wouldn't know where it was if it was uh, transparent. Now, let's duplicate it and move this one over here. Let's see. Yeah, alright. Now, duplicate this and rotate it to here. And wait this way. Sorry for not talking that much, guys. It's just it's hard for me to um, talk while I'm doing a tutorial. So yeah. All right. So after you got that done, let's make it all transparent. I guess like this here. and this one. Oh my gosh, I didn't do one over there. Yeah, transparency is here. This one, I think is this one. Alright, it's here. Now, forgot to duplicate one on the other side. So let's do duplication powers activate. Alright. Alright, so let's see how. Oh, crud. Alright, so. See, you can't uh, walk out because then you would die. So, yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend dying. LOL. Alright, um. I'm going to lock all of this because I don't want to move it. So, yeah. <laughs> Basically, that's it. Why? Locked. And we're going to group it into a model. I'm going to name it, uh... Face. Now, since it's going to be a sword fighting game, go to Toolbox. Uh, Roblox sets, game stuff, no, go to weapons, sword, click yes, wow, that failed, <laughs> start a pack, good, now, now we have that done, alright, good, hmm, what should we do? Uh, let's think. Maybe we should make a script. Yes. No. All right. Let's do start a GUI inside. Well, we're gonna make a GUI to. If you like, uh, want to like, um kill everybody without a sword and you want to be the only one that could do that I'll show you how to do that without a sword alright screen GUI side there uh, oh wait maybe uh, the people that you hate you could just kill them automatically with this because that's what I'm gonna do so text button we're going to uh, put this. Okay. 
kill because it's gonna be killing the person that you hate. Click OK. Uh, I'm gonna put a black background. Now, let us get to programming. Okay, scripts. Inside the scripts, I'm going to put function. You can name the function anything you want, but I'm gonna just name it clicks because I like it that way. So if someone clicks it, it'd be game dot workspace dot. Huh. Who do you want to die? You tell me. All right. So we're going to make bazooka make him die he's my best friend but i don't really care right now dot humanoid dot health equals zero now next thing um wait yeah that's all you have to put except for one more thing let's do uh script Script dot parents dot mouse button one down connect clicks. Now to see if this if this works, we're going to do player because that would kill me because my name's player whenever you're testing. So yeah. Let's read it first to see if we forgot something. Function clicks. Nope. Game dot workspace dot player dot humanoid dot health equals zero ends. Uh, script dot parent dot mouse button one down connect clicks. All right. I don't think we forgot anything. So let's just try. See what happens. Hopefully this works. Ooh, yes. Okay, guys. That is how you uh, do that. So. We're going to uh, edit it and do Bazooka Bacon again because that is who I want to do. But you could do any other person. Uh, if you don't feel like typing it, this script will be in the description. So yeah, now. Now you want the text button so people so nobody else but you could click it so what you want to do is uh go down visible turn that off i know like you can't see it right now but you will be able to like watch this all right uh we're going to add another script and start a gui but we're not going to put it in screen gui we're just going to uh, have a script and start a gui now what you want to do is this Game dot players dot uh player gooey wait no 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 put game dot players dot your name I'm gonna put my name is uh I'm gonna test it out first so player dot player gooey dot screen gooey dot text button dot visible equals true now we're gonna see if this works click play and it works so guys yeah it's gonna be like that now it's gonna kill bazooka again if he joins the game alright so you want that to be you, so I'm going to do reset to someone 564, because that's my name. Yeah. That's how you uh, make a game on Roblox, but you can make any game you want. I don't care. Just, that's uh, kind of a tutorial, a little tutorial on how to program on Roblox, kind of. So yeah. That's how I program on Roblox. I use Lua and I use Scorpion and stuff like that. So yeah, 
you could, if you're a beginner, just do Lua. Just like I did. I showed you uh, a script in Lua. So yeah, guys. Uh, that is how you make a game in Roblox if you uh, want to. Yeah, awesomeness. Alright, so guys, uh, please drop a like and subscribe if you want to. So yeah, peace.